Hey, good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. So this morning, I finished up a piece that I've been working on um, in my spare time. I do that a lot. I'll start a doodle. Probably um, nine times out of ten, I'll start the doodle and just work on it here and there. And eventually, it becomes a piece that I actually can enjoy. I'm not really in a rush. I can take my time. This piece, um, I started uh, in a doctor's office. Um, waiting for my daughter and I wanted to do a, a fish piece uh, for a while and I wanted to kind of do a little bit deeper of a dive um, you know into the tools that Procreate has so that's what I did here I really started out with sketch and then I moved on to ink as you see uh, here I did a really 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 quick color study um, uh, of this piece, not really using any reference, just, you know, the experience I have over the years of drawing undersea stuff and just really, you know, drawing from those uh, mental images. Uh, you know, I did look at a few pictures here and there of uh, coral reefs, and uh, that's kind of where I landed. So this is the ink stage, and I'm going back in and I'm putting in some of the small details. One of the things that you really have to remember as an artist and an illustrator whenever you do a piece like this is you can have an infinite amount of detail that you can put into a piece you know as an artist uh, you really have to kind of know when to stop and, and when to call it <clears throat> excuse me and that's what I did with this piece I wanted to you know kind of push um, past that mental block that I typically have with a piece like this and leave it at a sketch and kind of go more or less into a final and finish I didn't really go into painterly uh, a painterly feel but um, you know you'll see me here in just a second I'll start putting in local color so I, I work in procreate very similar to the way that I work in Photoshop and because procreate you know has layers and and Photoshop has layers as you see I'm, I'm putting in some visual reference for some of those uh, things that you know I, I kind of needed to flesh out but a lot of the same things that Photoshop has a procreate has so that's you know I'll work in layers I'll work uh, from the back forward <clears throat> and you know putting in that local color uh, here in just a few minutes I'll start putting in some of the value and shadowing I, I, I love using procreate probably over any other tablet drawing app you know I, I do a lot of stuff on the surface um, Pro because it is a full application uh, you know whenever you draw on that it's not a dumbed-down version of Photoshop it's a full version of Photoshop but Procreate is just so intuitive and it's got such a great drawing experience it's really hard to beat this particular um, program for ease of use and simplification and they're constantly adding tools to better the drawing experience. <clears throat> uh, I will be getting in a little, a little bit into environmentals. So whenever you do a piece like this, blocking in local color, it all depends on your style cues. There is no right or wrong whenever it comes to style cues. You can simplify, you can render, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, I just you know, decided to really do a simple composition with the focus being on those two um, tube-like uh, corals in the center and then I really kind of just sketched and modeled around that and that's kind of my MO here I just literally sat down and started doodling and, and exploring the um, you know the little details here and there of what possibly is on a coral reef I didn't want to get into fish too much uh, you see later I did inject a couple uh, fish silhouettes and, and even um, something in the background there, but uh, I, I struggle even to this day with knowing where my line, you know, lies. You know, I've done painter, a real painterly pieces. I've done line only. I've done a combination of that. And depending on your style uh, of drawing and rendering is really just going to have to adjust based upon what your end result looks like. A lot of times I get into these pieces and I 
I start getting into them and then I start really enjoying, like right here, I started enjoying the painterly feel of it and I, and I kind of had to stop myself because I still had that black line in there and you'll see here in a minute too, I'll, I'll change that up a little bit um, depending on where I want my focus. And, and that too is, is one of those style cues that mentally speaking, you, you kind of have to adjust as you go. And Procreate can really facilitate that, and it's great. You see here I start putting in environmentals. I start putting in some of that, that uh, light refraction from the water up top. And, you know, understanding and knowing how, you know, those environmental factors and the particulate matter in the water really affect and, and the distance relationship between the subject matter and your eye really will dictate how the piece looks. You know, see, I put some stuff in the foreground there and I blurred it out and stuff in the background I blurred it out and you know I'll add some bubbles here in a second but you know again and two water has a way of changing color and and you know the light passes through and and, and you know makes the colors uh, change and that's kind of what, what you're going to see here in a second I, I decided it was a little looking a little bit too much like it was out in the open like natural lighting so I went in and I started messing around with the colors and yeah see there you go and you know I you see I started putting in different fish and I'm like you know I don't want to do that and uh, this is kind of one of those pieces where I just had some fun you know I didn't make it too difficult I didn't I didn't go in and and, and yeah, see here, I changed, started changing the color palette a little bit. Um, so I think that's kind of where I landed, you know. I, I put in just a few fish silhouettes. I, did, I didn't want to get out of control with it. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next time.